欢迎大家收看《我爱地产》节目。我们都知道，在不同的物业中，只要有可以看到海景、河景的，都会特别贵。我想，任何一个物业都不会比我们现在的这个离水更近了。今天，让我们来探讨一下船屋的独特生活方式。On House My Style, we'll actually discover that there are a number of different kinds of homes on the water. Also, what are the costs like? How do they compare with homes ashore? I'm Paul Wong, a real estate agent with 10 years experience. 我是 Lin Q， 我作为职业地产经纪人已经三年了。我们的客户总是有很多问题，所以我们要来学习关于地产买卖，大到尖端物业，小到民居住宅的一切知识。I hope we survive. <音>究竟什么是船屋？其实它们是由几种不同的类型，但基本上都是浮在水面，而不是建在陆地上。他们也通常会泊在岸边，来方便业主的起居生活。We'll introduce you to a pair of couples that have taken the plunge and bought themselves a home in the water. Gary and Beryl Rouse are retired world travelers. Their home is unique, a coastal sea home, like a tugboat but without an engine. They've been living on it for 13 years. So I'm going to wet it down, and you're going to scrub it off. 我们会来认识一下 Bev 和 Greg， 他们最近几年才踏上他们的船屋生活。他们的船屋是一个建在浮动结构却没有马达的房子，在多伦多居住了二十年以后，他们搬来了温哥华。We'll be learning about life on the water by pitching in and learning about some of the unique things that come with being the owner of a houseboat, like scrubbing the decks and scraping off barnacles. 但是 ，Paul， 这可真的是比在温哥华西区买任何一间海景房便宜太多了。Let's learn a bit more about what the different kinds of floating homes are. 船屋普遍较小，有一个电机可以移动。A float home is essentially a house built on a floating platform or hull with no motor. It just stays moored where it is. A coastal sea home, 海岸房呢，是指这个房子曾经装过有马达，可以移动，但是现在不再有了。And lastly, there is of course just living on your boat at a moorage. They are all quite different from owning property on land. You know, if I went to my client and I said, you know, instead of buying land, just buy a houseboat for investment, I think they would look at me and think I was crazy. 这也是我这么想的。我现在看着你，我就想你是不是疯了？因为呢，这种啊，船屋物业和漂浮物物业呢，跟我们中国人、亚洲人传统意义上的这个物业是非常的不一样的。我们对物业的概念是，它必须有地、有土地、有地皮。呃，这个呢，其实没有。而且呢，可能风一吹。飘飘飘就不知道飘到哪里去了。It's kind of neat, isn't it? These houseboats. 对呀、啊，真的很不错。你知道吗？他们的主人刚刚从一个环游世界的旅行回来。So walking up into to this float home, ah,、uh, it was very cute. 就像我一样，是不是 ？Yes, Ling, like you. <coughs> Yellow and floaty. Hello. Hi there, Gary and Beryl. Welcome to Karma. Permission to come on board. Yes. You're、please. welcome. Yeah, we haven't been here on a houseboat before. We're wondering if you can show us around. We、wow. certainly would. We'd love to. Yeah, come on in, guys. Hi, Beryl. Okay. Wow. Wow. What do you think?、Wow. This is an amazing place. It is. Yeah, actually, we've been、uh, visiting so many properties, but this is actually our first time to visit a boat house. Well,、oh, yeah. we love it. It's the perfect downsize for us.、Mm-hmm. Wow. It, it, it has a, a fireplace, dishwasher, all that mod cons. Oh wow. But、all、actually, this is lots of space, though. Yeah, six hundred fifty square feet. Yeah.、Right? Why don't I take Paul on a A little trip, and Gary will show you some of the maintenance that's yes, different yes. from living、Great. in your typical condo. Yes, Fantastic! Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Good. Good. You know, inside this float home,、uh, I thought it was、uh, it was a little, I guess, more functional than I thought. With a full functioning kitchen,、uh, living space,、uh, it was quaint, neat. 我一进来，我就是呃，没有想到这里面的空间还是蛮大的。可能是因为他们也没有什么呃东西放在里面吧。This is our living room. Wow! And we have all mod cons. We have、mm. a fireplace to keep us warm in the winter. Right. And we don't lack for entertainment. Right. We have a TV. Oh, it's hidden. It's, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it was more still than I thought. I thought it'd be a lot more kind of a lot more movement going on inside, but it was surprisingly still. 
this is the small but compact mm -hmm. dining area. Right. And we have seated as many as 10 people for Christmas dinner. There you go. They are. It's yeah. a small space, but, right. but a good space. Mm -hmm. And we have everything we need. It's, here a, lo in it's a large kitchen. We've it got is. An island here, really. Right? When, yeah. It's great. And we have all mod cons. We have our dishwasher. We have our washer and dryer. Yeah, how about maintenance? Maintenance, clean the decks with this brush. It's easy, just, and the side of the boat, also, same thing. Uh -huh. Just use salt water uh -huh. and do this. You want to try? Yes, looks fun. This is the other half of our home on the ocean. Oh, okay, here we are. So what do we have here? This is our spare room. This oh, is a bunk beds. Bunk beds, yeah, uh -huh. just like a ship. And this is the the bathroom. Okay. Got your shower. Yeah, and a window, right? A window yeah. and a skylight so that it's not tall enough. 我想我应该住不下这么小的地方吧，因为呃我的东西太多了，而且啊我还晕船。where would you put your purses, right? So we have a, another room in here. Yes, please come in. This oh, is wow. our master bedroom. Oh, it's very spacious in here. Yeah, we're not, we, we haven't found living in 650 square mm -hmm. feet limiting at all. But then we travel quite a lot and mm -hmm. we're used to living out of our suitcases. So yeah. I guess... This is a perfect fit for us. Well, without a family, I think it's doable. You could squish into it. I, I could do it if I had to. So you've traveled so many places. Why did you choose Vancouver to settle down in? Well, we have traveled and we continue to travel part of the year, mm -hmm. but all our friends were, were in Vancouver. And when we retired, we settled, we decided that this would be where we had our base anyway, mm -hmm. if we didn't stay all the time. Mm -hmm. And because we have lots of friends here and lots of memories. Gary, uh, are you originally from Vancouver? Yeah, I was born here uh, 84 years ago, actually. Wow. And the, uh, I used to live right over here. No way. Right over there. Wow. In a house that cost $4,000. Right at Broughton and Pender, 4000 bucks in 1944. <laughs> It's pretty neat uh, going into this uh, floating home today, uh, learning that, you know, it is functional. It's small, it's clean, it's neat. Uh, you, you know, uh, if you don't have a large family, you could uh, live there. Uh, although, trying to convince a client that it's a great investment, that's a, it's very challenging. Uh the first leg of our floating journey is complete. Coming up, we talk to Bev and Greg Kocha, who are just getting their sea legs aboard their float home Timberwind. They want to take us back to work, to catch the waves, to catch the waves, or to do it yourself. We just met up with Gary and Beryl Rouse and toured their coastal sea home karma. Like a small condo, it really had all the comforts you want. You just have to live a more minimalist lifestyle. You know, if a client came up to me and said, Hey Paul, I'm interested in buying a float home. I wouldn't know where to start. 
真的是泡我也不知道。你说我们在 M L S 上可以找到吗 ？They're there。所以，但我更想知道是是不是啊，船、呃、屋漂浮屋也要交这个 property tax， 还有是不是多需要啊、呃，我们付一些啊、呃、必须付的这个保险的费用，还有说呃，像是我们在这个港口是不是在港口上有租金的费用呢？还有说呃，我们这些下水下水道的这些呃这些脏东西要有人来清怎么办？这些是不是都有费用呢？嗯。哇哦 ，Look at it！ 金伯威，我们到了，赶快去看看。Okay, let's see it. This was a bigger floating home. I mean, it had a, it was boxy. 对啊，更现代了，而且看起来很大呢。Can we go in it? Sure. Okay. Check it out. I couldn't wait. Hi. Thanks for showing us into your home. It's a pleasure. We're glad you're here with us. The Timberwind is the pride and joy of Bev and Greg Kochuk. They moved into this float home a few years ago after downsizing from a large condo 400 meters away. Ah, you can take me to see your house. I will take you on the grand tour. Too good. This was a bigger floating home. I mean, it had a, it was boxy. Yeah, it's more modern and it looks very big. And、uh, as you walk in. I mean, they they had a they had a piano for goodness sakes. 对，这也是我觉得很惊讶的。In a floating home. 所以看起来根本就不像一个呃，像刚才我们见到像一个船一样的感觉。这里面反而更像是一个呃城市屋。Okay, Ling. So I'm going to take you. This is our main floor, and it's basically our living and eating area. We have our like music room. It's kind of split in spaces.、Yeah. Our living room, TV watching area, and then this is our kitchen. So. Um, it's pretty unique. Here we live on a steel hull. Like our floating on,、um, on the water is actually a steel hull, and our floor is、um, like cedar. It's cedar planks,、wow. but they lift up, so they're all on hinges. So all the way down here, they're on hinges, and we can lift them up. And then there's about two feet for storing all of our stuff. So in these、uh, float homes, a thousand square feet、uh, might actually work for some people out there. There's plenty of space、uh, for someone living in a condo downtown for a thousand square feet. Uh, and of course,、uh, you you know, people would need to get a license in order to live in a float home, and、uh, there aren't a lot of them, so it could be a commodity. 据说呢，现在要想在这里住啊，要需要排队等五年的时间才可以啊、uh, 排队买到一个像这样的漂浮屋。We grew up in Winnipeg in the prairies, so anything with the ocean, like we loved, and so we, we when we went to Granville Island, we'd see the float homes, and we thought, oh, those are so cool! Wouldn't that、yeah. be cool to live on there? When we came onto Timberwind, it was just like, okay, this is home. This even, is it. Yeah, this even is it. Even though we knew that we had to do、oh, some things that, to、yeah. change it, but we totally knew that no, this is where we can stay for our retirement years. 当我上到楼上，我就发现，哇，原来这里面有两间卧室，主卧、客卧、主厕、客厕，还有呢，在主卧里面还有一间啊、呃，这个更衣室，更衣室边上竟然还有洗衣房，就是有啊、呃，洗衣机、干衣机都在里面了。所以呢，这真的是非常好的一个设计，就完全不会让我们觉得我们住在水上。Okay, you know it's a floating house. It's on seawater. It does take a little bit of work, though, to keep on top of it. Okay, it does take work. Yeah, a little bit. You know, why don't I put you to work right now? I'll give you an idea for what it's like because、you、we're sitting. Put me to work. I'm going to put you to work right now. Okay. So okay. I'm going to give you the device to, to use. I've got the device. I, I'm going to get it ready, but we're sitting on seawater, so you always have to keep the side nice and clean. So I'm going to put you up here. And that's corrosion. This、right? is corrosion. You're going to、okay. see. Why don't you step up there and just give it a scrub? Well, and almost、uh, fell there. There you go. He's fishing out. There you go. Now you're saving my boat. So that's all you got to do. That,、okay. That's enough. All、okay. we got to do. So a couple times a year, that's all we've got to do. All right. How's that, Greg? I think you're done. Okay, <laughs> you're done. hired. You're, you're the guy. <laughs> Am I hired? You're done. <laughs> you know, there's one question that's been on my mind for a long time. 就是啊，会不会上面有鸟拉屎在这个阳台上？是不是 ？Actually. When you go to the washroom, I and mean, people want to know,、mm -hmm. does it go right into the water? Well, that's what everybody asks. They、right. they think you flush, does it go into the water?、Right. The answer is no. Come okay. Over here, I'm going to show you what、All、happens.、Right. There's a holding tank right here,、mm -hmm. and right there's a valve. I'm just going to, you know, you're the laborer today. <laughs> Give it a tip. You pull it right towards you, make it go vertical. No tricks here, right? No tricks. Nothing can happen. So the pipe is not going to. It's not going to blow、okay. up on you. I guarantee it. Okay, so just one giver, right? Yeah. There you go. So you just we do that a couple times a day. Actually. Only once a day. Okay. 
And that's it. That's, and that's, that's it. all you do. And then, then, it's, then that's all you have to think about. Once a day, we do that. And the rest of the, the rest of the thing is just like a normal house. I just turned it so that it would, you know, make that <laughs> noise. Back into the city. Hey, so besides the mortgage, are there property taxes? Well, see, the thing is, there's no property. I'm, right. I'm floating on water, so there's no right. property taxes. I pay mortgage fees. Okay. So you just, I just showed you how to, how to run the sewer system here. That's all part of the, the costs. Mm -hmm. And for mortgage, um, I get my water mm -hmm. and I get my sewer all taken care of. And it's all part of this marina here where mm -hmm. there's only 20 licenses. Mm -hmm. So I pay a fee to the marina for the privilege of putting my boat here. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Mortgage fee, mortgage, and that's yep. it. Well, there's one more thing. The okay. city of Vancouver has to take their pound of flesh. And what they okay. take out is a license. Because it's, it's exclusive here, there's only 20 licenses, and we have one of those 20. Mm -hmm. So we pay a license fee to the city of Vancouver, it's about $2,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is for the privilege of being in this marina. I see, and if someone else wanted a houseboat, what kind of process would they have to get? I mean, well, all 20 years. Or... Think about it, all those 20 uh, sites and all those 20 slips are gone. For, there's only 20 licenses, mm -hmm. so you'd have to wait for oh, someone okay. to sell their place. And that's when we found this. It was just serendipity. We were at the right place at the right time. It was for sale. Right. We fell in love with it and we bought it. Mm -hmm. But if someone wanted to come in here right now, right. say if you wanted to, there's nothing for sale. So you want to In the next episode, we will learn more about the way of the life of the ship. But the fact is, we first need to clean all the dirty, 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 dirty. I think I can do this. Do it, I can do this. Welcome back. And we've been helping them scrape the algae off their hull. How's that, Greg? Also, we've been learning about some of the little known things about float homes like this one. When you flush the toilet, it doesn't just go straight into the ocean. It's all very clean and goes into the city sewage system. Whether a small or large, I really don't think any of my clients would choose it as an investment. But if they were uh, retiring and they wanted to uh, change their lifestyle a little bit and even save some money because floating homes aren't that expensive, then I would say, yeah, that would be good for you to do. But which one you are going to suggest to them? If this money is fine. They don't worry about money. If they don't worry about money, obviously, you know, I would say just buy land. Always land. That's just me, right? But uh, but some people, they have money and they want a different lifestyle, right? They love living on the water, so why not? Okay, come on up, watch your step. All right. So now you're up into our third level of living space. Oh, wow, this is huge. Yeah, we spend a lot of time up here, yeah. you know, especially in the summertime. The sun is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You got your penthouse view here? Well, we got a pretty good view. You know, we wanted a view of mountains and water, and we couldn't get any better than right, this. Right, right, right. You are like, almost the highest, right? Yeah. So. 更让我吃惊的是呢，我们还有个阳台在三层，我们上来之后就发现，哇，这真的就是说潘豪斯沃维尔就可以看到海，看到其他的这些船，而且呢是阳光也很好，还可以看到岸上跟岸上的人打招
You know, and when you're on water, you're moving. Today's a pretty calm day. You know, I don't see you getting a little bit of seasick. You, you got no, your sea legs? No, I've got my bearings, right? There you go. My sea legs, yeah. But sometimes people do. I mean, we've had guests and dinner parties, and they look out the window and they see everything moving, mm -hmm. and they can just feel it. So you have to be, be ready for that. Or understand that that could affect you. Well, you know, with this floating home, I mean, it has much more to offer. It is a lot larger. It's got all these decks, and it's, it's very contemporary, so it's almost condo-esque. Uh, still a struggle in terms of is it the best uh, investment, I don't know, but uh, someone looking for something a little different, living in a condo but uh, uh, doesn't mind you know, living on the water, you know, it might work for someone. 对，因为这间漂浮屋是给我的感觉是完全没有任何的呃障碍，说我我能不能住在这里面？可能刚才那间我是觉得我好像不太可以跟这样的生活呃关联在一起，但是这间呢，我是觉得完全没有问题的。You know, Speaking of all the hard work you've done here for okay. me, you know, I think I owe you something. We're on a beautiful float home. Okay. We're going to be outdoors. Well, why don't we have a barbecue? You can't find a better space than this. Good. I was hoping you'd say barbecue and not something else, like another job. Another job? No. You've earned it. It's been quite a day today on this floating home, uh, taking a look at the generous space and you know cleaning this floating home, uh, but meeting these wonderful people. It seems like they're just so down to earth and so friendly uh, with the barbecue and all the, the drinks. Uh, it's nice to be a part of this floating home society or association that uh, that they're all a part of, right? So you can see this floating home is also not different from our usual apartments. We can also cook here, barbecue, and eat, right? And especially in this hot summer, you can enjoy the sea breeze and see the sea and be in the nature and be together. Cheers! 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 Including about how they differ from traditional homes in terms of mortgages and costs. We want to thank Ross's family. They have been living in this deep water for over 13 years. We don't need to plant the house plants because we have done the work of these plant plants. But we have also seen that floating homes can really be an affordable way to get a priceless waterfront lifestyle. 